All right, well, here we're back at Grandpa's, and uh, last time we had uh, transferring of the pattern, and I like to keep the pattern with me to refer to when I'm carving, and you can see the nice poking there, and that's what should show up on our pumpkin. One of the first things you'll want to do is to check how thick it is where you're going to be carving. So I'm going to stick the saw through one of the places in the middle that I'll be cutting out and to see how thick it is. So I gently push it through until I can touch it. And then I'll pull it out and you can see there that that's uh, probably a little over an inch so maybe I'll do a, just a little thinning in the area now that I know that this is where it's going to be carved. Now when you carve it's best to start with the more delicate features and to carve from the inside towards the out. So some of the last things I will do will be these pieces out on the perimeter. I'll start by carving the pieces that are in the middle here. I like to carve with the pumpkin sitting in my lap and the part that I'm carving right in front of me. I am taking the small delicate or a detailed saw rather and going to carve out some of the small pieces first. I use this saw just for the smaller pieces and you have to be gentle with it. It takes very little forward pressure to saw. So don't force it. Have lots of up and down motions and if it's perfect it falls right through okay we'll do another piece here and then you can see the dots that were colored with the flower just as a technique to see them better when you get to corners, it's best to take the saw out and then reinsert it in the new direction. If you happen to have a piece that doesn't seem to be coming out, there's a couple things you can do. One would be to make sure that you've carved all the way around, especially like at the corners. And then the other thing would be that sometimes people carve with a um, slant inward so that they're cutting this way. And therefore, it might be easier to push the piece out from the backside this way. I say we refer to the pattern here now there is a feature that has a perfect circle in it right here the earring so what I did was not only poked around the perimeter but put one right in the middle so that I can then take my saw or excuse me take my drill here and find the middle of that right here and you poke it in and then gently twist with a little downward pressure and it'll make a perfect circle with your little drill. Now if you've got bigger holes you use the bigger drills. We're almost done now and I'm down to this last big piece and I'm going to cut it into a couple of sections so it's easier to take out. Now a couple of things you want to know about these saws is that they're fairly small as you can see. So you don't want to bend it sideways when you're carving. You want to go up and down and don't put a lot of pressure on it. 
So again, don't do this. Don't use the saw to try and pry a piece out either. Okay, so what I'm going to do is about here, I'm just going to cut across. So if you have trouble getting pieces out again, it's it's easier to, oh, and you shouldn't poke them out with a saw. That's bad. That's my bad. <laughs> you also notice they cut this out first while it still had the support here rather than cutting this, and then it's it'd be a lot weaker. Okay, we'll... Crust here. Well, that one fell right out. Okay, and you can see that there seems to be what I call pumpkin sawdust, the little stuff that's left from uh, sawing. So, what I'm going to do now is go and wash this off. Okay, now I'm going to go wash off the pumpkin sawdust here. And it doesn't hurt that you get a lot of water in the pumpkin because that'll just help keep it hydrated. So we're going to dump it out here. I'm going to check and see how my carving is and see if I've got all the pieces out. So I'm just going to take a little light here. 